I saw. Mm, I thought I saw. Yeah, me gunner. Oh my goodness! This is my first time I, in I bracket. Thought, I've seen see, me gunner. It's it's not that often that you see me gunner, which is why I actually thought it was inkling like out of, out of the corner <laughs> of my eye. But it looks like this is a button check, so we're not we're not okay. quite unless, or super hardcore neutral dude. They, they could just be try hard like that. Nah, I'm just all right, all um, right. So we just got button check going, testing yeah. it out here. But it's really cool to see like who people pick during this time because it, it doesn't have to be who they're picking in the match, it, it, you know? That's very true. It could just be a psych out tactic. Um, but man, how cool would that be to see a me gunner like in tournament? I feel like uh, me sword fighter is actually pretty viable. Yeah, me sword fighter. The me's in this game are like a lot stronger. Uh, I have seen some me gunner in this game. I mean, we do have in SoCal one of the best, best me gunners like in the world is uh, Aim or Aimer. Ooh. Uh, so he he plays. He's not here tonight, unfortunately, but uh, he does pack a punch with the with the me gunner and, and the rest of the me's as well. I think most me players just play all three. They'll like specialize in one or the other, but. They definitely just like they're me fans. Like they they love the me's. <laughs> I think me's are cool though. I mean like I, I want to play me's more in this game than I did in Smash Four because they're like semi decent and like it's just cool that you can customize them. I like that a lot. Uh, but yeah. we're not even gonna see me gunner at all, as you, as you 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 called it. It's uh <laughs> you know the case of of. of trickery. Look here, but we're, uh, it looks like we're going to be seeing a Peach and a Marth today. Peach and Marth. And this matchup is, like, pretty hard for Peach. I mean, I haven't seen too much, like, Marth in this game because most people opt for Lucina. Lucina, through, I was Lucina. just going to say that. Like, yeah. the easier, most more consistent option. But uh, you can imagine they work pretty similarly and the fact that Marth has a, like, long disjoint that he can space around in the neutral. That's, like, what... Peach doesn't like a lot of the time, especially if you have good anti airs as well, which Marth and Lucina have. So, uh, yeah, let's see how it plays out. Looks like we're getting into <laughs> high Vader. Had to put in a new tag. Vader, Hi. who was just on the stream. Shout outs. Yeah. Making tag shout outs Home, over here. Homies playing back to back on the, on the stream. Love to see it. That's great. I love when people communicate through their tags and stuff. Like, I'm thinking about. Um, during Frostbite, people would put like four Samsora and stuff on their tags. Yeah. <laughs> That's so great. So, yep, Marth and Peach, it looks like, but I'm, ho I'm hoping to see some really good spacing today because of that tipper mechanic. Yeah, I mean, I'm just actually, you asked me like what characters I'm excited to see. I want to see more Marth. Uh, I mean, MK Leo's been talking about it lately. Oh, really? Yeah, he's been saying like he's been playing more Marth lately and then labbing Marth out, and he might have some stuff. So I, I would be excited. I was going to say, please don't don't switch it up on me again. <laughs> but we are going to get the Marth. Playing with your feelings. And game number one going here. This is Edmund and Angelife on the mic. We're starting on Pokemon Stadium 2. And already Captain Pikachu with the opening here with a neutral air to forward air. Uh, answering right back though, Soul X. Gonna get down throw to back air right here. Already has 72% onto Pikachu. Wow, yeah, it started off really strong with that Peach. And it all the combos have been starting off with a grab. Honestly, Peach is so good at that. And we pulled out a, a smiley turn up. Right now, do you know if yeah, there's the any damage output the difference on the, the double, on this one? The uh, dot eye turn up does have a little bit stronger. It's not as strong as the stitch eye, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it is a little bit stronger. Here we go. Already 125%. But Martha doing really great uh, again with the spacing. So trying to keep Peach off oh of them. Oh my god, I can't even imagine if that forward smash would have connected. It might have been the tipper, and it might have actually done the trick. He was center stage, so there's a possibility with good DI that Soul X would have survived, but you can see. Captain Pikachu turning his luck around. I mean, he took a fair amount of damage at the beginning, but now he's got Solex trapped at the ledge and actually bringing us back to a dead even game. Grab here. Oh, wow, Option didn't do anything with these. Oh, I like it. Try to set up for the uh, counter edge guard right there, but the, um, the up B's still going to grab the ledge before uh, being able to hit there. Oh, the dot eyes? Yes, it's going to do the trick, actually. Uh, catching. Pikachu's jump, so he's not even going to survive with the extra knockback from the dot eye tournament. And here we go. Wow, with that up B. He was able to get. Super good right there. That comes out so fast. I mean, it's one of uh, Mart's like, faster like outer shield options. It's just in general, you can just run up and do it. Uh, great kill option by the ledge, and Pikachu capitalizing right there. Here we go. He was able to get one of his side Bs in there and start off a combo, but 
really great use of the shield there. Wow, and a parry. Parry, okay. Captain Pikachu trying to find his way around Solex right here. And now Martha's so quick. You're seeing just hopping around our Peach right now. But I'm surprised that... Oh, oh no, the directional air dodge off the stage. He is going to make it back, though. I'm surprised Solex didn't actually just threaten with the uh, down air right there, try to trade with him. Might have just killed. He did have to burn his double jump to make it back. Well, let's see. Trying to keep it on the ledge. I'm really surprised by that because he is at 120%. Let's see, and both players just kind of dashing around each other, trying to find an opening there, and Martha's able to find one, but not able to continue any sort of combo or anything like that. Let's see if you can edge guard here. It's so oh, tough because Peach is just able to float around so yeah, she can absolutely. find a time to come back. Shimmy, shimmy around until he uh, gets back, and that's exactly what Solex did. He's going to hopefully take another stock right here. Oh, wow. I love it. That was so crucial for Pikachu right there, throwing the turnip upwards. And that's actually going to spell his fate. The down throw turn up again. He's just repeating the same situation until Captain Pikachu just can't react and has expended all his resources. Man, yeah, that use of the turnip in that last yeah. stock, though. Let's see here. So we got him at 91%. That's a pretty good start off to this stock. Oh, okay, and he gets a down tilt in. It's a great uh, combo starter for Peach. He's going to be able to get neutral airs uh, into more down tilts and uh, show off just the creativity that this character can put out. There we go. Right. Trying to use that turnip. Oh, and I'm hoping he can go back with an upbeat. Wow, and that turnip didn't go through because the invincibility getting up on that ledge. Oh my god, all right, able to get back to the ledge. Let's see if he can, ooh, if that connected. What an excellent tech right there from Solex, able to survive a little bit longer. It's looking pretty bad here for Pikachu. The back throw is gonna be enough? No, it's not. Right here, we can see a crown, maybe. Okay, and Marth going probably maybe. I'm surprised he didn't go for like a forward throw. Yeah, actually, uh, I think he might have just wanted to just get as much pummels in as he wanted to. Went for the grab release. He's able to successfully get the jabs out and put Solix off stage uh, to get that stock. And we're down to one stock apiece. Big deficit here for Pikachu, but he's playing the neutral just right. Yeah, I have faith in this match. He's doing a really great job despite being at a really oh, high percent, but those oh. turnips just coming. Just oh. vegetables falling from the sky. I was so scared for Pikachu right there. I didn't think he, I didn't know if he had his jump or not. It turns out he did. Dude, he could totally win this right here. He throws out the forward smash and back throw. Yes, it will at 180. I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> Man, what a like what a long life though. Yeah, Mark was yeah. able to stick around for quite Sur some time. Survivability on Pikachu's part was top notch for sure. Um, and if he is able to just keep playing that same way throughout this game too, he may be able to actually just win the game. It's a little harder because I would say uh, in the combo and like killing department, like KO power department, like Peach is just more consistent. Even though Marth has the tools to space her out, that's exactly what we're gonna have to like see throughout the entire game. So it's uh, gonna have to come down to Pikachu slowing down uh, Soul X to, to his pace. And so he's he's gonna wanna control the pace. Or he could switch to a much faster character. And he does have a Pikachu. This is not a like uh, super deep pocket. It's, it's one of his characters that he plays. So you should expect the same caliber of play in this game number two going into uh, this set. I'm excited. There's so much yellow on my screen right now. Yeah. <laughs> Coordination, for sure. Uh, let's see here. Pikachu being spamming those Thunder Jolts and landing a really great neutral. Neutral air right now, but not enough to get past that counter. And let's see. All right, 124, 129 now. The back throw is still not enough. Pikachu yet to find an opening. It's looking really similar to this game number one. Uh, but we, sh we we've seen just how he can play from a deficit. And he plays slow and steady, trying to find his opening here with the Thunder Jolts, but a back air going to beat it out. And uh, Soul X just doing so good on this game too. Wow, really good use of that shield, and he was able to get a grab out of that and start a, a nice combo there. Let's see. He's using a, the Thunder Jolt as a good approach, and he has a turnip in hand. Let's see if he uses it. 
Okay, up air from the ledge. He's trying to get this uh, thunder, Joel, or uh, excuse me, thunder, thunder from the ledge. Dead even percent with Solex uh, at a full stock up. I mean, Solex is content with just playing slow, as slow as Pikachu wants to. Jumping over the Thunder Jolt, getting a forward air, and again, the same situation, a little bit higher by the ledge. He's gonna be down to his last stock. Oh man, the combo. That could have been devastating for uh, Pikachu right there. If he was uh, didn't get that parry, he uh, would have eaten a much heavier punish. Down throw here for Pikachu, but uh, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know that the player is not gonna di or read the di, follow, follow the di, but you can't just uh, do it raw like that. Forward air by the ledge. Oh, he falls out of it. Wow, the the gods are really smiling upon Soul X right now. <laughs> I know you saw off stage. He was trying to go for that bear, but we have to remember that Pikachu's bear sends the opponent on the opposite direction. Yeah. So instead of throwing him off stage, it threw him towards stage. So let's see what he goes for at this edge guard. Throwing out the Thunder Jolt here. All right. All right. So Lux does a really great job getting back onto the stage, despite, you know, the umbrella being slower. He's able to get back on with no problem. And so Captain Peak 2 trying to be really careful, you know, dashing around, throwing some Thunder Jolts. Yeah, back air is going to be like the biggest threat right now in, oh, in uh, Solex is neutral because it's, it's one of her faster moves. And it, it's definitely going to kill uh, coming up soon. Oh, and he w was able to side B the wrong direction, oh. throwing him off stage. Let's see. <laughs> the up throw nearing 200% uh, is definitely going to be a kill option for Pikachu. Uh, Captain Pikachu, on his last life at 105%, he's going to have to make it count all right here, right now. Let's see. Okay, so he's coming back on stage. He's at the disadvantage at this moment, but he's able to make it back to neutral. All right, and both players, you see, dashing him around, you know. Waiting for that opening to come up. 124%. Oh. Captain Pikachu definitely trying to play uh, the best he can. Back throw still not going to be enough. And he's going to taunt. Oh, Solex is feeling it. He knows he's got this in the bag. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Trying to go for that spike. Didn't make it, but threw down a thunder and able to get some damage there. Oh, Here we man. go. Waiting, waiting on top of there. Floating. That Pikachu not going to let up just yet. He's definitely playing as patient as possible. And there's the forward air from the ledge from across the stage. Still not enough. The next one, he will not be able to survive. That was a stitch eye. Chose not to hang on to it. He didn't, figured he didn't really need to. He's got such a lead. Oh, charging up that side smash. Then Solex was waiting for that, you know, waiting to get back onto the oh, stage. Wow! Oh my god, and we're down to our last stock. I mean, Solex, he put out the taunts, but he can't count out these players. Dash attack gonna connect? Is that gonna do it? Wow, that is severely less strong than it was than it used to be. Oh, that was a great <laughs> use of the Thunder Jolt. You know, the difference between Pikachu and Pichu is that his Thunder Jolt has a hitbox. So it's a great use of an approach. Right there. See, he's using it again as an approach just to use it, get a little bit of damage there. But not just that, but to get past him. Yeah. He's so aggressive right now. Oh, and that whiff dash attack is going to get punished by the easy forward smash. And Solex going to take it with a clean 2-0. Oh. 